Thank you for visiting Create the Good. In this tutorial, we will review how to post a volunteer opportunity. Looking for volunteers? CreateTheGood.org is a great place to start. We connect those looking to volunteer with opportunities in their community and beyond. Only Create the Good members may post volunteer opportunities, but fear not, registration is free and your information is not shared with anyone. To get started, click on Post and Edit Opportunities, located in the top navigation. Click the Register button in red. This will bring you to an AARP.org registration page. Create a new account by clicking the Register button on the lower right of the page. If you previously registered with AARP.org, you can log in using that email address and password. And you can also use your social media account to register by clicking the social account icon you prefer. If registering on behalf of an organization, we suggest registering with an email address that can be accessed by more than one individual, for example, info at organization.org. This allows for your organization to still have access to the account and opportunities in case the individual that created the opportunity becomes unavailable. Now you are ready to create volunteer opportunities and submit them for consideration by Create the Good. Return to the Post and Edit Opportunities page on createthegood.org. This page is where you manage all opportunities posted within your account. To the right, you will see the Add Opportunity button in red. Click there. On the Add Opportunity page, you will enter details about your volunteer opportunity. First, Opportunity Contact Information. This is the contact information of the person coordinating efforts at your volunteer event or opportunity, the person to whom prospective volunteers should direct questions. You must provide this individual's name and at least one form of contact information, email address or phone number. Though only one form is required, it is helpful to include both forms of contact. Note that email notifications about your opportunity are sent to the email address associated with the account of the opportunity creator, the registration email, not the email address listed in this contact section. The Enter Opportunity Information section gives potential volunteers an idea of what to expect from their volunteer experience. Under Who is sponsoring this opportunity, four options are presented in a drop-down menu. Select Individual if you are a member of Create the Good but do not have an existing relationship with AARP or another organization. Select Organization or Group if you are submitting a volunteer opportunity on behalf of an organization. This option applies to most nonprofits, schools, churches, and community groups. If selected, another line will appear to enter your organization's name. Select AARP if you are an employee of AARP or are entering opportunities for one of AARP's state offices or volunteer programs. And select Mentor Up only if you are entering an opportunity specifically for the AARP Foundation Mentor Up program. Next, the title of your opportunity is the most powerful tool to attract volunteers, so you'll want to choose a title that gives prospective volunteers key information about the what, where, and for whom of the opportunity. Here is an example. Tutor math would not provide enough detail. Tutor students at Gulfview Middle School in Naples, Florida on multiple topics related to algebra would provide too much detail. Algebra tutor needed for middle school students is just right. If more details about your opportunity or organization are available on a web page, specify the URL here so potential volunteers can click for more information. This is an optional field, so it's not a problem to leave it blank. The opportunity description is the meat and potatoes of your volunteer listing. Here, you can provide all the details an individual would need to determine if your opportunity is a good fit. These details may include the following. What volunteers do at the event, who they will be helping, why it's important, where the opportunity occurs, for example, outdoors, what volunteers should bring, if anything, whether volunteers will be working alone or with a group, whether there are any special requirements for participation, for example, must speak Spanish or must be able to lift heavy objects, and whether volunteers have to attend an orientation or sign any waivers to participate. The first 50 words will display on the search results page, so make sure your key details are on top. To give you some context, the following sentence is exactly 50 characters long. 
great volunteer opportunities are hard to find. The duration field gives volunteers an understanding of the time commitment associated with your opportunity. Choose the option that best applies. In the Skills, Categories, and Interests section, you can identify any skills the volunteer might need to participate in your opportunity. You can also identify the categories and interests that will help that perfect volunteer match find your opportunity. Again, please select all options that apply. The Location, Date, and Time section captures the where and when of your opportunity. Under Location, choose the option that best describes where a volunteer needs to physically be to participate in your opportunity. Choose Local if a volunteer needs to be at a particular location or if the opportunity occurs within a specific zip code. Choose Statewide if the volunteer could participate at any number of locations throughout the selected state, for example, a statewide food drive. Choose Virtual when a volunteer can participate from anywhere by internet or phone. Note that Create the Good only lists opportunities within the United States. International opportunities will not be accepted at this time. The Opportunity Date and Time section collects information about when a volunteer needs to be at the location you just specified. Choose one of the following options. Choose Not Scheduled if a volunteer can start your opportunity at any time that suits his or her schedule, an ongoing opportunity. Choose One Day if your opportunity takes place during a specific time span on a specific date. Choose multi-day if your opportunity occurs over the course of multiple days, for example, a specific weekend. Create the Good provides you tools not only for posting your opportunities, but also for collecting registration information from interested volunteers. Answering yes to the question, Allow Online Event Registration, will unlock the following features. It will limit the number of registrations for your opportunity. So if your opportunity reaches the stated limit, volunteers will receive a friendly notification that the opportunity is full. You will receive email alerts when an individual registers for your opportunity. You will also receive an email 24 hours prior to the start date of your opportunity containing registrant names and the number of guests they plan to bring to the event, if any. Registrants will also receive an email confirmation listing relevant opportunity details. After selecting yes, you will need to do the following. Specify the maximum number of registrants and read and agree to the terms and conditions. Once you have completed the above and reviewed your opportunity, you are all set to submit. Click the submit button to send your opportunity to the Create the Good team for review and approval. The review process for volunteer opportunity submissions takes up to two business days. You will receive an email notification upon approval. And should your opportunity be rejected, you will receive an email notification that includes a description of why the submission does not meet the requirements of Create the Good and tips to resubmit, if applicable. We look forward to seeing your posts on Create the Good.